is Bob Borchard coming to you from beautiful, historic Old Town Mariposa. And I have with me today Mia Lauren. Hi, Bob. How are you doing, Mia? <laughs> Good. How are yeah, you? Mia is an old friend of mine, a uh, family friend, going back yeah. many, many years. Absolutely. And, uh, well, Mia, tell us a little bit about maybe some background and, and how you got to Mariposa. Oh, gosh. And what you do. Well, um, my husband and I came here about 23 years ago. Um, to run our family business, third generation owned and operated, and we're very proud of that. Um, we were hesitant at first, leaving a big city to come and run a little motel, you know, in a little country town. We had no idea. I, this has just been the most wonderful experience. We feel so blessed. We feel so fortunate. We've met wonderful people. We've raised three children here, wonderful schools. Um, and meeting a, people from all over the world, you know, it just it's just been a lot of fun. You kind of grew up here, didn't you? It yeah. feels like it. It feels yeah. like it because I was just in my 20s when we moved here with a, and now you're with a, a little four-year-old, you know. And, and now you're a grandmother? <laughs> and now I'm a grandmother, yes. Um, one year ago uh, this October, so yes. And you're on babysitting duty as soon as you're finished doing the show with me, right? Yes, you're right. Like it's good, isn't it? <laughs> it's wonderful. <laughs> so, uh... Tell us a little bit about what you do, Mia. You well, lead a kind of an interesting life. Let me uh, maybe put some context around that. Uh, Mariposa has some uh, really deep traditions about hospitality. Yes, absolutely. 160 years. With, it was one of the first businesses providing uh, food and accommodations for travelers coming into the mining areas. Yeah, yeah. And, uh, We've kind of carried that tradition into a modern era with mm -hmm. the uh, with the visitation to Yosemite and whatnot, but uh, you've come to this uh, 25 years ago into this hospitality tradition and and you've adapted to it rather well. I rather think. well. We love people, and um, when we started working there, we were introduced to not only a wonderful small community of loving, caring people. Um, but all the people from all over the world that wanted to come visit our beautiful little town. And I can't tell you how that makes us feel. We feel very fortunate. So anybody who comes to Mariposa, they're being uh, greeted, uh, welcomed, and we want to invite them as our guests, all of us as um, folks in the hospitality business. And I feel very proud to be a part of that. Maybe uh, to put some... I have a background in the economy, okay. so uh, from an economist's perspective, there's over a million people a year that travel right down Main Street in Mariposa yeah. uh, from all over the world. Yes. And uh, those million people uh, speak many, 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 many languages, and, yes. uh, and they are extremely interested in, in our culture as Americans. This is one of the places where they actually get to get out of their car yeah. and can comfortably walk the streets yeah. and talk to people Absolutely. and shop owners. It's, yeah. it's personal. You actually will talk to shop owners who own the shop. Absolutely. Not, not uh, some uh, it's wonderful. Week weekend uh, person that's been hired in. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's very personal yeah. in that regard. And um, so this 100-year tradition has kind of matured mm -hmm. and... Uh, you have taken it to a whole different level. You're a realtor, is that correct? <laughs> yeah, I am. I, I, um... You're feeling uncomfortable? No, no. You know, it's funny, working the front desk, you know, when we first started the business and meeting people and saying, hearing their stories about how they keep coming back and they keep coming back and they want to live here and it's so beautiful. And uh, they don't want to... They want to tell people, but they don't want to tell people. Mm -hmm. Like when you find the secret, you don't really, you know, you don't want to. <laughs> well, you know, when we talk about the business, uh, could we, uh, yeah. we, that's the Mariposa Lodge, right? Yeah, the Mariposa Lodge, uh, that's right. And I have uh, I have a little tradition with the Mariposa Lodge. I issued their first uh, permit for expansion oh, right? wow. when I was a fresh green behind the ears uh, planning director here many, many, oh, many wow. years ago. That's neat. Um, but uh, we have the Mariposa Lodge. And, Mm -hmm. Maybe you could talk a little bit about that just a little bit. Well, our lodge is right in the heart of town, so you can walk to all the stores and shops and uh, fully equipped rooms with all of the goodies, you know, 
Uh, we have a few little furnished apartments in the back as well. Um, and the one thing about our property that, or two things actually, one is everybody says, oh, you're the one with the gardens when they call or, you know, they send an email request or whatever. Yes, we have gorgeous gardens. You can walk to everything. Uh, and uh, we do not serve food. We're one of the only properties in town that doesn't serve food because we want our guests to venture out and go to a restaurant and enjoy themselves and walk around town. That's what we want. And so we're trying to get away with that um, because we want, we want to introduce uh, our guests to, to our uh, restaurants and, and uh, have a good time. You're not the only property downtown. And uh, there's others, yes, believe it or not, that right. don't have food. Right. We have a, a total just within walking distance of our town, and, and that's kind of a, a, a unique concept because mm -hmm. mm -hmm. you can actually walk exactly. to a community and a Leave historic your, community. Yeah. But there's over almost yeah. 270 rooms within walking distance of downtown. That includes the hotels, the motels, mm -hmm. and, mm -hmm. and we have some pretty spectacular B&B &B accommodations. We do. We do. We're very fortunate. Uh, We've got uh, we've got some pictures coming up of some various properties, and, and uh, I won't go into detail about all of them. But uh, what I'd like to do is maybe just talk a little bit about um, the, the the experience of uh, of greeting people mm -hmm. uh, as a hospitalitarian, uh, working at at both levels. Mm -hmm. As a realtor, of course, you've got uh, a particular business focus but uh, you know when people come to our town they uh, they have many questions yes they do Absolutely. And, uh, and often more often than not they don't quite know what to expect Absolutely. Uh, they think that this is something that's been staged I get a lot at of times that. yeah sure sure I get yeah. uh, I get people who come in and think that uh, that we're all actors and yeah. this is like a, the stage coach is coming in and yeah. the guys with the guns are gonna come down yeah, the street some, some do their little a show movie, <laughs> a, 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 a Southern California movies that, yeah uh, exactly. because of, uh, the experience with with people here and whatnot but yeah. uh, uh, it's real yeah it's real. Uh, and uh, it takes a while to figure that out yeah. but uh, but it's real yeah. um, Overall, we have almost 370 rooms. We have downtown and mm -hmm. uptown, mm -hmm. and the upper end of town has another 100 and so rooms up in that area, too. I think that would be hard for a lot of people to believe when they come through our little town, our little western town with all the little cute shops, you know, that we do have so many places for everyone to stay and well, all sorts of different varieties well, of, one of the One of the things that makes that happen Mm -hmm. and makes it uh, makes it all work is that Mariposa has become a staging area for your, not just Yosemite but the mm -hmm. whole region because yeah. we do have the Yarts bus mm -hmm. uh, and actually Yarts uh, hooks up to Merced mm -hmm. and people can get on a train literally yeah. buy a ticket in Washington DC for Yosemite Valley yeah. and get on a train come to Merced get on the bus and come to Mariposa yeah. and come up and go skiing at Badger mm -hmm. Pass, That's which right. by the way is open. Yes. Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> actually, yeah. We got our snow this weekend. At any rate, uh, but the uh, the staging area concept is something that uh, mm -hmm. is really kind of an important function in our community, and, and I don't think people really think about it. But yeah. Uh, and that's one of the reasons we have to become uh, more knowledgeable, uh, yeah. just residents yeah. and business people. Absolutely. We have to be able to explain to. Uh, to our visitors where we're going and and uh, what they can see and they generally find out that there is a lot more to do here than there is time to do it in. Uh, I usually get somebody who's stopping over on the way to Las Vegas they come to Yosemite mm -hmm. or San Francisco Yosemite Las Vegas or something like that. Right, right. And uh, they have to change their plans because they didn't get to see this, this yes. and this. Either they can that, stay longer. Or they, or they come, <laughs> come back. back. Yes. Um, so uh, uh, I think with part of the, uh, the travel budget, what I would recommend to people is that they, they plan on spending a couple of days here because there is a lot to see. Yeah. Uh, like Randy's uh, uh, Mineral Museum. That's right. Uh, like the Art Museum. History Museum. Yeah. And Yosemite has, it's, it's not just outdoor things. They've got some interpretive exhibits up in Yosemite mm -hmm. Valley that are pretty, uh, pretty amazing. Absolutely. And uh, it's... Uh, 
it's 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 an incredible experience to come up here. A lot to learn. Uh, you know, we are a historic mining community. That's right. And yeah. uh, our history uh, goes pretty deep. Yeah. Well, my sound man is telling me that we're running out of time. Uh, have you got any? Gosh uh, darn it! Have you got, have you got any? Uh, uh, well, I would I would encourage folks that are watching this to go on to our. Chamber of Commerce website, right? MariposaCounty.org, is that correct? Uh, is that it's uh, pretty Mariposa close? Chamber yeah. Org. yeah, okay. Um, and, and to see that our we have all of these events that, that come up at the most perfect times of the year in the springtime, fall, winter, and to encourage folks to come and visit Mariposa in the wintertime. You can drive right on through town, stop, visit. And uh, we're not snowed in like a lot of people think. You can get here any time of the year. And a lot of folks think they can't. Like, uh, you know, we're high country and we're snowed in. Well, it's gorgeous here in the wintertime. So I encourage that. And I guess we have to <laughs> sign off now. Okay. Uh, that was fun. It, it is fun. It's good to have you. Yeah, thank uh, you. And, and uh, you, you've given me a different perspective on our town. Uh, I enjoy talking with you always, but this, is, well. this has been an Thank entertaining you. show. Thank you. And my name is Bob again, coming to you from downtown Old Town Mariposa. Mm -hmm. And thanks for joining us, and uh, hope to see you again soon. We'll be on here next week talking uh, about cattle ranching, if you're mm -hmm. interested in Collectibles, gifts, purses, handmade jewelry. We have a vintage train. Come on up, enjoy our special brews. We've done about 27 different beers in the two years that we've been open. And I have over 1,001 gifts, something for everyone. All kinds of stocking stuffers and wonderful gifts for your family and friends. Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. We want to wish you a Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas to all. Merry Christmas. There's elegance here. There's fun. And it's, it's just a great place. Shop Old Town Mariposa for a unique, authentic Christmas shopping experience.